This is my 1996 Ford F-350 Centurion, uh, 7.3 Power Stroke. This is my personal truck. I've owned it for three years and i am decided to sell it now. We have an expanding family and and uh, it's just not what we need anymore. Um, I've done a lot to it. I've had uh, a lot of work done to it. You can see in the description of over $16,000 in work, mechanical and everything. And uh, I wanted to show everybody a little bit about it on the video so that if you want to buy it, you know that you're getting a good truck. Um, one of the first things I'd like to show, I, you know, one of the things somebody always asks is how, how's the tires and the condition of the tires. And I have the Cooper Discover AT3 tires all the way around on the Mickey Thompson rims. The tires are all in really good shape. You can see that's the key and there's still plenty of tread left. I think I maybe have, if I had to guess, maybe 10, maybe uh, 15,000 miles or so on the tires. Um, so they, they uh, are still in really good shape, a lot of life left. The truck itself, as far as I know, has been in um, uh, garage kept, garage owned for forever. I don't think, uh, for myself, it's been in the garage, um, and the previous owner said that it's always been in the garage. I kept the truck as close to stock as I could, um, uh, so I would replace it with Ford parts or uh, refurbish Ford parts. I tried to stay away from any aftermarket parts, um, but I'll show you a few things about it. So one of the first things is, is I did, I did install a car alarm. One of the car alarms did come with Centurion, but by the time I got the truck, it didn't work anymore. So, oh, I guess that's the other thing too, is these lights up here too, real quick. Uh, those are LEDs. Uh, of course, they didn't have LED in 96, but I did have to replace each one of these and each one of these lenses. Each one of these lenses was like $75, I think. Uh, so I replaced all of those and there's LEDs behind them, so they all work. But just so that you guys do see that, they do all work. But the... Uh, the truck itself, it is a Centurion. Centurion um, was a custom designed tr uh, for Ford, and they didn't, um, is only for for special uh, occasions, you know, they didn't. Centurion was a um, um, uh, an aftermarket uh, design company for Ford. Um, they were authorized by Ford to do their work, and that's what this truck is, and that's what makes it so unique. Uh, one of the things you can see, the door trim, you have all of the wood, the wood trim and the wood paneling all the way around the truck, um, and it's not broken. You know, that's kind of unique uh, for a F-350 that had a Centurion. A lot of times you'll see that this stuff is broken stuff. Uh, it came with a Centurion, put in a CB radio. You can see there's some switches and stuff like that. None of these are connected to anything. The radio does work, but it's it doesn't have an antenna and the uh, parking radar or whatever that is, that doesn't work either. They do turn on, both of them, but they don't, they don't do anything. Um, the, uh, uh, this, this top um, molding up here, this is something that was, uh, um, you know, again, it's an aftermarket from Centurion. Other thing is, as you can see, it's still up on the roof. A lot of times these fell down. We we reinforced and made sure it's going to stay up. These don't work. These map lights, they do not work. Um, that's one thing that I decided not to fix on the truck. The back ones do. These don't. And the reason why I didn't fix that is this is balsa wood. And I was afraid to get into there. And with the plastic being brittle, I decided that the map lights wasn't that big of a deal to me. Other than that, everything else on the truck works. But going back to the... Uh, uh, design of the truck, you know, again, this is a Centurion, so you have a little secret compartment. This is the antenna for the CB radio, which is up top there, and we don't, uh, it, it's never worked. It wasn't a big deal to me, so I didn't fix it, but if you guys know about it, that's the antenna there. Um, 
again the cruise works every everything on the truck works um i'll go ahead and uh start it so that you guys could see and real quick before i do that there is a bluetooth setup in the truck and i'll show you that in a second that's kind of a one of the biggest features so give me just a minute and i'll show that all to you all right sorry about that but again i'll go ahead and start it you can see there's no um we'll wait for that to go off but there is no lights you can see it just runs real smooth um you know it's it's a very very nice truck i, I kept it in as good a condition as I possibly could. One of the things with the radio I wanted to show, um, it, it actually is a uh, Bluetooth setup. And you can't see that in here. This is one of the things where I did not stick to my keep everything factory. The radio is actually really good. There's Hertz speakers all the way around in the original factory uh, where they should be. Um, and this is the original head unit, but I had the head unit is it's all controlled by your cell phone So if you put it at 89.1 uh, You'll see the Bluetooth come on and you can connect your phone to it and the radio is extremely loud It's it's how I like it uh, So it, it was something that I I really wanted of course you have your your base control knob and then the the Bluetooth there as well That's kind of as much as I varied away from any of uh ford stuff um and then that that's kind of about it all walk around here too while i do that i'll pop the hood so that we could look at that in a minute um in the back oh by the way i get a lot of questions about the paint the paint it's not something i did that came from centurion on their uh on the paperwork which you guys could see in the description they uh that that was an ad from centurion so i didn't do this they did um you know they you can feel the paint lines and stuff like that on it but but that that's how it came from centurion uh the back one of the other things with centurion too is this converts the back seat will actually slide forward all the way which i didn't Put the front seat forward but it slides forward and it will go down uh i can't do it right now because i'm holding the phone but it does fold down flat into a bed it's a short bed i don't know who could lay down back here but that that was one of the uh options from centurion and as you can see that is the sub um if you guys don't like that you can take it out you know it's not permanently put in here you it's it's easy enough to take out and that's um one thing i tried to do is if it wasn't a um if it wasn't an option that i could get a ford part i would make sure that we could at least um convert it back if i ever did and that's what we did there uh, another thing too guys this is the factory plastic that came from ford as far as i'm aware it still covers up the back seat um i tried to make sure nobody ever sat in it um so but that's that's still there that's Pretty unique I don't think you're gonna see that again and also I didn't show you in the front seat but this this console does fold back down so you have a center console up front uh, the back uh, I did do a spray liner on it uh, the uh, the toolbox of course comes with the truck the the fender wells came from Centurion um, and that you do have a uh, there is on here which you could probably maybe see in the video i'm not sure but there is some light dents from hell damage that the truck did get like there's one right there i didn't replace this because it wasn't that big of a deal to me um this plastic portion isn't cracked at all which is unique for the truck um but they uh uh again you know the truck did get a little bit of hell damage this summer but as you can tell it you can't you can't see it it was easily repaired is all pdr and you know to me uh i can't tell the difference so the truck looks great uh there was a dmi hitch on here if you guys are familiar with that it was an ag hitch the the ag hitch was taken off that's what the spacer is for and then uh we put a 10 inch drop hitch in there from kurt and uh so there's all that if you want that information. 
the exhaust is aftermarket. Um, it was like that when I got it. And then, of course, down the side too. The, um, the, the uh, steps, the side steps, those are all from Centurion as well. Um, that's the other side there. Again, that's the factory plastic goes all the way through. Other thing, guys, too, I never took this off-road. I didn't, I wasn't hard on the truck. It was definitely a baby, still is. You know, I took really good care of it. Um, these uh, floor mats, of course, didn't come from Ford. I put these in, uh, you guys, um, they, they seemed to work pretty well and hold up. Have the owner's manual. We have, uh, um, you know, the original key fob. I don't think you'd ever use that, but it's there. And then, um, and then uh, going around to the front, of course, oh, I guess one thing too, guys, all of the underneath is real clean. You know, underneath there is a little, you know, coarse surface rust and stuff, but we are in Colorado, so it's not bad. Uh, none of the... None of the rust to me is any concern. And when I say rust, I'm not talking that it's bad stuff. It's just minor surface stuff. You can see a little bit there, but it's nothing bad. I mean, especially considering the age and the truck. It's, uh, you know, it's in really good condition. But, you know, uh, I, like I said, if I, if it was something that was broken on this truck, I did fix it. So, we, uh, you know, I really, my vehicles, I like to have them in as good a condition as I possibly can, and, and uh, it's definitely true with this. But, uh, again, engine runs, runs good. You know, guys, there's, it's uh, been a good truck. K&N, that came before I bought it. I just left it on there. It's not that big of a deal to have that on there. Other than that, the rest of the truck, it's not chipped. Uh, everything's as close to factory as I could have gotten it. Um, if you have any questions on this truck, please feel free to call me. I'll put my cell phone in the description and you guys could call and talk to me directly. One of the other things too is, um, it uh, might be a little confusing, I am selling this through a dealership. Uh, I do work at the dealership. I've been at the dealership for over 20 years. Um, so if if you're wondering why, I'm selling the truck through a dealership, that's why. Uh, I just, I work here, I'm the general manager. Um, that's one thing too. One of the other things that made me decide to sell it is I have uh, uh, a lot of uh, people come up asking me to buy it. You know, you could ask any of our salespeople here, they've, uh, they'll have they tell you that. You know, every everybody wants to own it. So, um, but again, you know, hood, all that stuff. Oh, one other thing too. I put a ceramic wax all the way around here, whatever you call it, but whatever it was, it was really expensive. And and the truck, uh, wish I would have brought a bottle of water out here to show you. It's uh, water beads off of it. it. It's 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 pretty awesome. People who see the truck, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but if you can see it, it's uh, it's it's definitely looks beautiful. Um, but anyways, call me guys if you have a question, and if not, uh, good luck in buying it.